Hi YouTube, I am back with another pick a card. We're gonna get into your person's energy and see um, you, the ones that have been with me, you all know that I take out your energy and theirs first to see what, um, if it is your story, if it, re if it resonates, then you know, this might be your person that I'm picking up on. Okay, so let's get started. Just a quick announcement. In two weeks on the 20th, I'm going to stop a uh, book reading, like uh, booked booking with me uh, because I want I want to leave. I don't want to leave with anything pending. I will be off for a whole week. I'll be leaving out of the country. I can't I can't promise anything that I will be posting during that time because whenever I leave out of the country, the internet just always or even in hotels here in california when i go to Cal anywhere here hotels internet is just blah you know so i can't promise you uh um anything so um just a reminder on the 20th i will stop um i had three people about three people asked me about bookings when i was kind of mia last week um which is so weird because <laughs> I don't know it was i felt like something was just pulling me in back because i've never received so many emails like in one week i've received them all the time but not some weeks i don't anyways um which was it was like something telling me we we need your messages we need your messages i don't know that's how i took it i always look at you know the deeper meaning of things anyways let's get started i have four options here i have the red the blue the pink and the orange let's get started with the red let's see the red what do we have for the red oh first we're gonna we have silence <laughs> first we're gonna look in, in your um at your energy with this person what the red says. red red pile what's the energy here for the person watching this and their person on their mind sabotaging and attachment wanted to come out um not a very good energy something here maybe uh ended abruptly and somebody i can't see it happening already somebody here had fear that it wouldn't work out that fear of rejection fear of so somebody here did maybe some self-sabotaging and did things abruptly um or somebody was just emotionally aloof the other one was more of a fear of loss this kind of looks like a a connection that one was attached another one was detached um well and because it ended abruptly without any closure somebody still feels attached to this okay let's see what is this sab sabotaging about wow nine of coins somebody here just wanted to be you know there's envious people around you too they don't like your um somebody sabotaged this too there was probably for some of you there was a somebody that interfered either a friend somebody else that had uh, intentions ill intentions to separate both of you look at how similar these look these two two together here and then there's a third party here um so it could have been anything that came between you i'm not saying third party i need more more energy for that kind of yeah it was third party for some of you there was a third party somebody came in between both of you okay so for others of you if you if you know that there wasn't nobody there you have to be sure of it okay or maybe there was just thoughts of it but it did cause a lot of disappointment a lot okay but i feel like there's someone here that um if you don't know about a third party this person wanted to just um be free single mingling with others okay so, so they sabotaged it because they had fear that it wasn't going to work out between you two give me more of this attachment 
why am I getting online things like maybe online give me more of an attachment oh yeah somebody here wanted to be out there uh, out and about and someone was attached but this person came into your life to teach you how to walk away how to let go okay how to level up as well okay i do feel that you with the empress here it doesn't it's not gender specific but the empress does bring the message of you know growing up being the queen of all queens the king of all kings um leveling up uh i feel like you're gonna detach from this and really grow from it grow from this okay i do sense that someone here just wanted to be free single and you had to walk away from that yeah but bottom of the deck we have the magician so not a lot of truth was revealed like you didn't see you didn't you didn't um have any kind of truth with this person or clarity with this person i mean like maybe you didn't get you got half truths i don't know this magician here in this deck is different for the tarot police out there it is different okay it it depicts something different i also feel like somebody was just giving an illusion here as well so maybe there was you both had the tools to work things out but somebody just didn't want to but i feel like someone is leveling up here okay let's see what they are thinking okay silence or what they're feeling we have silenced so they can't speak they feel like they cannot speak they feel out in the cold resistant and resistant look at that came out twice and there's so many of these little cards that's why i use them sometimes because there is a lot let me show you there's a lot look at that and i can't believe the vibe that this pile carries well i pick up cards are just so weird to me because the vibe does it does pick up on the strongest vibe and it seems like resistant is one of them here so they're very resistant they really do fear they sabotage this i feel like it was them um they feel depressed right now and dissatisfied so let's see why do they feel depressed okay sorry about that guys i got interrupted i don't like interruptions but it happens why are they feeling this resistance, this depressed energy? Why? Okay, somebody, they're feeling this because maybe you're moving forward. It's like they forced you to move forward. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're feeling confident, like you are, you can move forward in this. Even though you didn't want to, they know that you, you didn't want to, but they kind of forced you, yeah. See, I told you. I feel like someone here is moving forward. Um, and that's why they feel this resistance. No, I can't go. Oh, I could have had this with them. I could have. But I feel like maybe they're showing also that they are confident. I don't know. Some of them are refusing to come forward. We have the chariot and then we have the horse here resisting. They want to come forward, but they can't. They, they see you as somebody that is very stable, very grounded, has a good head on their shoulders, does everything, you know, you probably have your job and you do things for other people or you, you were probably doing a lot for them as well. So they feel depressed. They don't feel satisfied right now. They, but they feel like they can't say anything. That's why they're resisting here that is what i'm getting here um let's let's see what are their thoughts here their deep thoughts i'm going to contact you i need to speak to you so they're gonna they're gonna crack actually yep they're gonna crack they're gonna want to come towards you so they can't keep up with this resistance because you know energy energy is so tricky you know sometimes 
you know, you could be going through a Mars transit and you feel so fu frustrated and th those feelings, those dark feelings come up depending on where it's transiting and you can't resist that any longer. You know, people don't understand that, you know, uh, we go through these these transits and the universe pushes you to do something, you know, brings out all those emotions. People don't get it, get it sometimes. So that's what I'm getting here. Yeah. They're not going to resist any longer. They're depressed. They're di very dissatisfied. Okay. Yep. So I do see a Cancer. I see Earth, Virgo, Taurus, Libra, um, Water, Water, and Earth. Okay. See at the bottom. And I did say Gemini and Virgo um, at the bottom of the deck earlier. And then three of wands here. Yeah, they probably think that you are moving on. That you have other suitors or something like that. Or maybe, yeah. But I feel like, yeah. <laughs> That's how what it's depicted here, it seems like. But three of wands, for the tarot police out there, of course. Um, three of wands is, you know... Um, thinking optimistic waiting for your ships to come in and it kind of seems like that is uh, that's the problem here you know that they probably don't think that this could happen or somebody doesn't think that this could happen probably you but anyways that is what I have okay so let's keep going okay the blue the tea on their feelings let's see what we have first we're going to look into your energy and theirs sorry guys one fell <laughs> and i moved my tripod anyways let's see what's the tea between this this connection with the blue Short term, with super the the tea in this connection spirits. I'm familiar. Okay, so this was a very very special connection between you both, um, but it didn't last long. Okay, somebody wanted things to go either somebody here wanted things to go really quickly or they went really quickly and. Or somebody here was kept in the dark. I'm getting to what it says here. But this was like like no other. Okay. Unlike any other uh, relationship. At least to you, I feel. But it w didn't last long. I'm kind of almost feeling like there was a honeymoon phase. And then it ended right away after. When all the true colors came out or something like that. Whoa. This is crazy. <laughs> I can't believe that happened. I don't know what happened here. That was loud too. Okay. Yeah, something must have went haywire <laughs> between you two. Like, that was crazy. I don't know. I've never done that with my cards. Anyways, let's see. What is this short term? Wow. So yeah, it was short term. They were making their the effort the effort to move forward with you. This this card always reminds me of the Doran Virtue card making the effort and it also gets gives me vibes. It could be uh, like soulmate vibes. I mean, 6 of cups vibes. I know it's not the 6 of cups, but it's the 2 of pentacles. I feel like this person wanted to move forward with you was doing everything you know like i said it was like but it was very short term for some reason yeah it was it is a soulmate a past life soulmate so i'm getting soulmate vibes here so we have the high priestess it was like you both kn knew each other from a an you've both felt very comfortable it's like if you knew each other from childhood or something like that somebody probably was keeping too much maybe even juggling going back and forth you know not knowing if they should get into something like this but there was a very deep 
spiritual connection i feel like this was meant to happen between you two so you both can experience this um i'm getting a lot of like a like past energy look at that two of cups wants to come out yeah i feel like somebody here was there was a very deep connection very soulful i want to say soulful I, ne I never say soulful but it was like very fulfilling but it seems like somebody had how do i say somebody wasn't saying much about what they were thinking what they really wanted they didn't know what they wanted it feels like they weren't revealing too much they always kept you in the dark not knowing where is gonna where is this leading somebody really wanted to um keep going work together working making things happen maybe even getting like uh, working together to get something stable or to get to somewhere stable maybe both of you had maybe problems like i don't know like you wanted a partner in crime kind of thing i don't know why i'm getting that kind of energy but it kind of seems like this person it was someone that you had to come across with you know we always come across to the people that we're meant to meet but this person always kept you in the dark not really re revealing their true intentions or not really giving you something stable probably knocked you off your own balance too uh, but there was a very very deep connection between you two i mean like spiritual it was intense at times i feel like this person wanted to show you that they were worth it also or this person thought how do i say this person cared about what other people thought as well mm -hmm. or they felt like they had to work too hard to get to where you what you expected from them like it was too much to really get to that to meet your expectations i'm getting to i don't know why i'm getting that yeah something about stability was the issue here maybe somebody here was not stable um like money wise hmm. let's see what their their um feelings childish intimate affection okay so they're really f in their feelings about this look at this and i shuffle these look childish maybe they had childhood wounds because they feel maybe they had this fear of abandonment i'm getting too they had mom issues or fa father issues uh, their childhood was probably um affecting them and childhood wounds to me is anything before 25 because let's face it and nobody really is grown or has gone through so much um well when i was 25 i was already growing up that was t i was almost gonna reveal my age but that was years ago <laughs> you know like um i was already kind of growing up like maybe that was okay that's too much info let's see hateful and jealous um so i'm getting here that this person is jealous right now they're probably even envious of you they do see you as somebody that they probably were they had a uh, low self-esteem or lo low confidence i feel like this person really cared about what other people thought of him or probably of of them or you i'm getting maybe they thought it was just too much work and they it really affected their confidence they're very spiteful right now i'm not sure why they probably think that you're with someone else or they're feeling a little bit um envious that you might be doing well or that they didn't grow up like you did or there's something regarding that but i feel like this person gets into their emotions really really um when they get into their emotions they get very upset okay um they feel this this strong connection still 
affectionate, intimate. Let's see. Why do they feel jealous here? Okay. So they feel jealous because they... I always feel like this person doesn't have a lot to offer because they have broken cup here and one cup here. So it's like they don't have a lot to offer and then they're dressed as a clown. So this person might be even seeing you, you know, um, someone flirting with you or as well because this is a flirt card. Someone flirting and they get jealous or maybe even thinking that you're flirting with others or others are flirting with you right now. And they get a little bit too jealous there they could be a little possessive as well okay so i feel like this is stubbornness they feel a, li a bit stubborn remember we are clarifying for those of you who know the emperor is not always stubborn i know i know that but we're hateful combined with the emperor here yes i do feel it's a stubbornness it's maybe not even learning from this they're probably also um giving off that vibe that they have it all together they have um life and they're taking charge of their own life and they're responsible and all that but they feel um a bit spiteful hateful maybe even jaded like they hate love or something but they hate feeling i feel like it's more of they hate feeling this connection with you because they can't really get over this um let's see yeah this person needs a lot of healing wow this person thinks that they really did lose the one we have the empress and the emperor that's why they're hateful they're kind of um they're hating love they hate that they have this connection with you it's so obvious this is like your divine feminine divine masculine i don't use those words a lot but look at that this is a very deep soulful connection like no other and they feel it too very unfamiliar they've never had it before they i feel like they even fear that they're not gonna have it anymore okay um they could have childhood wounds of course they just didn't take this serious with you they were a bit careless they made the effort but they never really give gave you something stable and i feel like this person is still wanting to do to work on this because they're in their feelings about you but they get to a point where they just hate it that's interesting i feel like it stems from their childhood though for most of you okay so that is what i'm getting let's see what's at the bottom seven of cups maybe just emotionally confused right now because come on we have hateful jealousy affection intimate they want that intimacy back with you um they feel just emotionally drained let's see they want to probably have another opportunity because seven of pen seven of cups also does um mean opportunity and with this de depiction it seems like they want an opportunity to come towards you. Again, it's not gender specific, but it's someone coming to court you or something like that. Let's see, what are their thoughts? I'm in a dark place. Spirit is sending me light. See, they are in a dark place. Their childhood wounds are coming up. They're feeling hateful, but then they feel this affection towards you still jealousy okay kind of seems like they are in a dark place right now okay so that is what i have for this pile i hope this felt like it resonated i do have water there taurus libra aries scorpio sag no maybe a sag uh i mean aquarius um aries taurus pisces earth signs water signs Okay, so that is what I have. Thank you so much for watching and let's keep going.
pink. Let's see what we have for the pink pile. Okay. Oh, first we're going <laughs> to look into um, the energy between you both. And if this resonates, then you know that this those emotions might be your person. Okay. What is this person, person watching? What's their energy with this person? I see one flipped and it's driving me nuts. Okay. What's the energy between the these two? Authenticity. Oh, wow. Really good energy between you both. Okay, so... This was a bond beyond just physical. Um, this was a real friendship. Going out uh, as friends, you know. I like this energy. Because um, I'm getting these vibes of, you know, going out to bowling going out to um the beach and uh, the, the fairgrounds you know eh, stuff like that why because i've i've been there you know having a friendship that bond friendship in a connection and it's really nice it's fun connection in a f fun way you know um you know having your partner in crime you know i used to take off to the beach at three o'clock in the afternoon and that was really late um here in california it's late by three it's already like <laughs> um authenticity truthful genuine wow this is a oh, this was a really good connection what happened you were able to be your true self with this person i don't this is way different than the last two piles because that was a little bit too heavy but this was this is light energy making me wonder if this was even if this is even a if this is a new love or what <laughs> let's see someone here wasn't really holding back it was like a very comfortable comfortable relationship a friendship here or just a good connection let's see it's only two cards so i could change <laughs> hopefully i'm not trying to be pessimistic but Let's see. Give me more of this authenticity. Oh, whoa, what happened? Seven of Pentacles with the Knight of Swords. So something did happen here. Somebody ran away from this. Somebody was putting too much energy and time into this, and someone ran away. There was drama. Interesting. Give me more of this friendship. yeah wow look at the depiction of these two cards she's sitting on his lap and she's sitting on his lap obviously you can see how close they are so what happened now somebody feels out in the cold this is five of pentacles it went from you know maybe this person had lack of uh a lack mentality like someone here got scared i'm getting the feeling of being scared wow two sevens so i'm getting more of like it's only a matter of time there was a struggle here somebody here was not stable maybe their money stability job finances something like that i'm getting a lot of pentacles here and one was left to put in all the energy and time the effort because the other could have been them that they had a lack mentality like they got scared how great this connection was and someone ran away from it okay because there was no stability here somebody had that lack mentality there was no trust in this situation somebody did not trust it um but I'm getting, I always get, it's only a matter of time with this. Like maybe there is, um, there needs to be time between you two. That's what I'm getting. Somebody could also be just um, getting info. Maybe you both are getting info from each other. But right now, I feel like this connection is still very strong. 
and it could come back together it just it's only a matter of time i'm getting it is a struggle though somebody is struggling with the way that they're thinking the way that they're feeling and that is affecting this connection someone here got scared of a healthy relationship it kind of feels like somebody didn't even know how to handle a healthy relationship interesting six of wands so somebody here wants attention wants to spend time with you um this is way different than the traditional tarot okay just a uh, heads up but this is kind of like the six of swords maybe they want to clear the air they want time i'm i'm feeling traveling that's what i was envisioning you know maybe going to the beach together doing things together maybe this is somebody that is also reminiscing because that's what i was kind of getting before i got these two when i got these two cards that friendship bond you know they want to ground the situation this couple is going towards the ground grounded area hmm okay so this is fire could be a leo let's see what they're feeling avoid see someone like this doesn't know how to handle a healthy relationship i don't believe it i don't believe that they can so there is loving there is secretive supportive loving hopeless so this person is feeling hopeless interesting because you see the boat there it's like it just went down they just want to ground the situation here. So I feel like, like hopeless here, defeated. They're feeling this, but they feel that love. It was like there's a void there now. I feel like this person needs a lot of healing because mm, feeling that void is not easy. Supportive and secretive. Maybe also this is also gives me the, the secretive vibe here. Maybe they don't want to let you know. That they still have that you know that that feeling towards you they could be feeling i don't know if they're supportive towards you you know like that kind of vibe well you know they deserve the best they should go to someone else you know that they can um be with or something like that let's see Give me more of this void, hopeless. So they are, oh yeah, they're mourning this. They feel defeated. They're mourning the situation between you both. And they, they want closure. I feel like they're giving themselves closure. I feel like they want to travel. They want to travel because this is the world. I feel like they are actually they're they're seeking support, their support system, their friends. They're trying to maybe even open their mind, trying to, you know, maybe even Yeah, that's what I'm getting. They're keeping an open mind, but they're mourning this this ending. There was an ending here course they could be at a distance from you there's um two major arcanas here it's interesting because this deck i was i'm so hesitant to use because i always get third party vibes but i haven't really i'm getting just different energies yeah wow wow this person is really mourning this this came out in reverse but it kind of seems like this person is reminiscing of course it's the five of swords this person is really having a like a mental war within them like they feel hopeless this person feels hopeless here maybe there was nasty words said between you both um ten of cups there was there's still love there there was a harsh ending here or there there could have been a harsh ending or something that they're just mourning they're seeking advice from friends could be as well for some of you this is not going to resonate with everyone i don't know why i'm just getting that um vibe well it didn't end this way well maybe to them it did they you know because who's feeling hopeless right now it's like um just a lost connection a really good one they spend their time thinking about this connection a lot 
they could be at a distance from you so it kind of seems like it is ending and they're seeking advice from friends support maybe they're actually even some of them are even thinking about how supportive you were because there was a friendship there and how it ended now they're i feel like they're having a mental war here because this is someone that is very lonely feeling that but um, that void and throwing the roses in the bridge this is a different depiction than the traditional tarot because in the traditional tarot it does really mean there was mind games manipulation or um just pride ego we have a judgment here so that is the problem is that maybe somebody here did put a like a period at the end of all this like there was an ending and that's how they're feeling right now or maybe they even feel judged or maybe someone just did made a final decision and that's the problem i don't know we're coming back reviving something that is dead is the problem here that they can't do it so i do see scorpio there i see scorpio leo Aquarius, Taurus, um, water, air, fire, Leo, um, earth, Gemini, oh, actually just air, there, and fire, okay? So that is what I'm feeling. Um, so there was a very strong bond between you two. Okay, so let's keep going. Oh, actually, one more message. Sorry about that. What are their thoughts here? Ugh. I'm ignoring an other people wanted to come out. Send me love and healing. I am struggling. See? They are struggling with this. And this is a blunt truth. So it's like not, not all of them are like this card okay so send them love and healing vibes because they're going through it i feel okay so that is what i have for this pile thank you so much for watching now let's move forward to the orange let's see what we have here oh i keep forgetting force of habit let's see what's your story that way you know if this is them or not what's the story here between the orange pile and their person on their mind. This is story. Sacrifices. Wow, frustrations. So somebody here was having a hard time giving up something or and it was frustrating the other person maybe you were be feeling frustrated because they didn't want to give up something maybe they didn't know how to compromise with you someone really made the other it was hard to get on the same page somebody was making too much of an effort to make it work give me more of the sacrifices Yeah, I always get laziness with this card. I don't know why. Look at that. Somebody wanted to just be a bachelor. Didn't They felt like it was too much of a burden to get into a relationship. That's what I'm feeling here. They didn't know how to compromise with the other. They felt like it was just too difficult because this is also difficulty. I feel like this card always also brings a message of difficulties. Um... It could be also not giving you closure or not coming together and just working things out, not growing up, you know, because uh, the world card does suggest someone growing up from this or learning. Um, it, they could be at a distance from you. Maybe they didn't want to sacrifice and travel towards you or, but I feel like it's more of growing up, maturing. So six of swords here. 
clearing the air. Somebody here did want to put in the time and effort to clear the air, to compromise, to get things on the same um, page, like if it was worth it. But it just brought more frustration. Yeah, you had a lot of love. Um, wow, somebody holding back because too much burden. Someone, it was like if you were pulling teeth here, pulling a whole statue, trying to make things work so bad, forcing things, but you couldn't, you couldn't, it's too much of a burden, the ten of, of wands wanted to come out as well, so let's see what they're feeling right now, envious, ooh, so this person is a little bit of hate, of a hater, I'm getting they do feel regretful lonely jealous oh okay that's why I said this person is a kind of a hater because I'm envious is a hater and jealousy is a hater as well maybe they f I don't feel like they're jealous that they're you're moving on with someone else I f or they're possessive or something they could be but I'm getting more of like jealous hater hating people envious maybe they're regretful as well remorseful they feel lonely they're keeping themselves busy i feel like they want to express themselves but they won't they're holding back um but they could be a bit jealous of you or i'm not getting possessive vibes here though it could be like they don't want you to move on but probably just for a few of you not a lot of you but they're holding back on expressing themselves i feel like their love language is actually you know doing stuff for you maybe you never got that from them or they're regretting that they didn't express themselves too because that is expressing let's see why is there um why are they regretful regretful this person could be seeing yeah they might be seeing you maybe move on or something this one came out twice already um So they're going back and forth not knowing what to do they do feel burden over this regret like they're regretting it's a burden maybe they're regretting that they didn't do much for you but i also see someone here lurking at this couple maybe they're thinking that you are with someone else they want to turn things around they want to heal the situation but they don't know they keep going back and forth um they don't know if they should be making the effort Put in the, the time i feel like they're a bit they're going back and forth not knowing maybe they feel like they should let time pass by something like that let's see give me more of this expressive energy yeah if they should make the effort if oh wow so they feel hurt or they're seeing the hurt that they caused they're actually even because we have imagined it maybe they're also thinking about how they caused this hurt there could have been a third party them juggling back and forth not knowing how to also balance things out between you both or it just caused a lot of hurt heartbreak give me more of this jealous See, they're haters. I feel like this person is a bit, um, they're, they're feeling, a, I don't know if they are seeing that they're lonely because of their selfish ways. They feel lonely because of their selfish ways. That's what I'm getting there. Ooh, that one was at the bottom of the deck, but I didn't, I didn't say anything and it came out again. I just wanted to see if it came, comes out again. But this person is um, feeling lonely. I've 
because I feel like how do I say it like they're thinking of how selfish they were on kind of leading you on and you not knowing what is really going on because I kind of feel like he the chariot here he's forcing her to come with him like and all because of their selfish ways or something like that and he's realizing that is what's making them feel lonely is that maybe they're also wanting to come towards you but i'm feeling more of a selfish ways like they know that their selfish ways um caused you both to get into this situation this hurt caused this hurt between you both why is jealous here I didn't clarify like this for the other piles, but I'm just going to do it. Yeah. A lot of hating energy, you see? Envious of others, maybe, because they're happy, so they're out there just partying. They could be just juggling, loving the, you know, maybe drinking, going out there, living life. But um, this could be also a very strong soulmate. Maybe they're also looking at you as a soulmate, Six of Cups, but it is different in this in this deck it is someone here out drinking doing their own thing mm -hmm. there's probably haters around them too you know i'm getting more of like be careful who you hang out with you know that's what i'm getting here i always get that vibe with this card this is very complicated because it took a couple cards to come out it's a complicated situation that i'm picking up on that's why i'm not getting clear answers yeah, somebody here was selfish, didn't reveal their true feelings. Somebody here was just leading the other one on. It was a little too frustrating, and I understand that, okay? They are feeling regretful, jealous, lonely, um, expressive. Maybe they want to express themselves, come towards you. That's what I'm getting. Let's get one more message. What are their thoughts here? This is blunt truth card, so let's see. What are their thoughts on this person? I'm going to give you an offer soon. So they do want to come and express themselves. Yep. But be careful because this person is lonely. They they were they don't know how to compromise. Okay, so just be careful. Why is number four always like this? I don't know. It's not gonna resonate for everyone, okay? So I do have Aquarius, Fire, Cancer, Pisces, Air Signs, Earth, um, Water, Cancer, Air, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, and Fire Signs, Leo. So the Four of Cups, you know, Rejection, Missed Opportunity is at the bottom of the deck. So someone here is thinking maybe it's a missed opportunity, it's a lost cause already okay so let's keep moving i mean i i'm finished <laughs> thank you so much for watching and i'll be back later take care of you mm, bye